again, Dexter? What do we do now? I'd like to give you a flavor of a little bit of analysis by introducing you to the discriminant. Perhaps I could be of some assistance. Let me show you what the discriminant is. First, remember the quadratic formula. Let's try to solve this equation with the quadratic formula. You can't factor it, so we have to use the quadratic formula this time. No problem. A will be 5, B will be 1, and C will be 4. Okay, so we call on the quadratic formula because we can't factor, replacing each of the uh, letters with the appropriate value. Okay, then all we have to do is simplify, and we get the answers. Negative 1 plus the square root of negative 79 over 10, and negative 1 minus the square root of 79 over 10. But... We know we can't have a negative square root. So in real life, this answer or these answers would be of no use to us because this is a complex imaginary number. Oh, very bad. Definitely unacceptable. Yeah. And we went to a lot of work to find that. So one has to ask oneself, hey, stop, hey. why would I go to all that trouble for that? Well, there's, there's a solution at least so that we can find out that when, when our answers are going to be, if you would, useless, okay, at least imaginary, or, or various other things about the answers before we go to all that trouble. And the answer to that is the discriminant. Consider what a celebrant does. They celebrate. Well, What would a discriminant do? Almost had a gag, son. Joke, that is. It discriminates. Okay, and it's going to discriminate amongst the various types of solutions of a quadratic equation. So that we don't have to do or, or execute a whole problem, simplify the whole quadratic formula, what I want you to know... Do you mind telling me what this is all about, mister? ...is that within the quadratic formula, Perhaps I could be of some assistance. The discriminant well, ooh, la, dee, da. is the part inside the square root. And what part is that? b squared minus 4ac. Don't have to take any square roots to find the discriminant, because it's the part inside the square root. And it discriminates. <laughs> Basically, what does it discriminate? It decides if the two roots to the quadratic uh, equation that you have are either two rational answers, in other words you can write them down, two irrational answers, they're real answers, you just can't write them down. You can't handle the truth! Basically those are going to be when you have non-perfect square roots, or two complex answers. Oh, very bad. Definitely unacceptable. That's going to yeah. be when the square roots uh, within that are negatives. And Sometimes the two answers are going to be the same answer. So in effect, you're only going to have one answer. There, we really have two, but they're the same answer, so we say you only have one. I know that, dude. Okay. Here's the deal. If the discriminant is zero, the thing inside the square root, b squared minus 4ac inside the square root is zero, well, the square root of zero is zero, so you're going plus or minus zero. So if the discriminant is zero, basically what you're going to have for roots is really one root. Two roots, but they'll be the same, so only one real root. It will be root. If the discriminant comes to a positive number, we're going to have real answers. We know that. There'll be two real roots. If it comes to a perfect square, well then the, both of the real roots Excellent. are going to be rational, aren't they? If it doesn't come to a perfect Whoa! square, Someone smells you're not going to be able to take... Mm -hmm. Whoa, it's me. If they're non-perfect squares, then you're going to have real roots, you can't handle the truth. but they're going to be irrational. It'll be a little hard to handle, okay? And if the discriminant comes out to a, yes, a negative to a negative number, well then you'll be trying to take the square root of a negative number. Oh, very bad. Definitely 
unacceptable. Yeah. You'll have two roots, but they'll be imaginary. Okay? Uh, excuse me, Professor Brainiac. Okay. Well, let's try this. Let's analyze this. Don't do the whole problem. Just analyze it using the discriminant. Still have to start off the same way. A is 5. B, where's B? Oh, uh, B is 0 in this case. And C is 4. So we don't have to do the whole thing. The discriminant will be B squared, or 0 squared, minus 4 times 5 times 4. So the discriminant comes out to negative 80, doesn't it? So what do you know when the discriminant comes out to a negative number? Might as well stop right there because it's the answers are going to be imaginary. They're going to be useless in, in the real world. Two imaginary roots. That's the kind of thing we call analysis. You don't have to do the whole problem. Just analyze it first. Okay? Thank you very much for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow. Good night, everybody! Okay, go try the homework.